Good day, everyone, and welcome to FXDD educational webinar. Today, we have how to trade with Haken Eshi candlesticks. My name is Nenad, I'm a professional trader, and I will show you what can, uh, Haken Eshi candlesticks are and how to trade with them. Before we start, have in mind that Forex trading carries a high level of risk that is not suitable for all investors. Please educate yourselves on the risk associated with Forex market before you start trading live. And have in mind that everything you see and hear from me is my personal opinion only. Please use these web addresses to sign up for more live educational and live trading videos. And today's agenda is Heiken Eshi introduction, the difference between Heiken Eshi and Japanese candlesticks, Heiken Eshi versus Heiken Eshi smoothed, and Heiken Eshi trading strategy. If you have any questions, guys, of course, you can ask me. If anything is not clear, feel free to ask questions. I will, of course, uh, reply. So what are actually Heiken Eshi candlesticks? So they're very similar to Japanese candlesticks, but they use a different calculation formula. In Japanese language, Heiken means the average and Eshi means pace. So when we translate it to English, it should be something like the average pace of prices. And it's not just a literal translation, but instead it's a real example of how Haken Eshi candlesticks work, because you will always see that price of Haken Eshi candlesticks is lagging a little bit behind, let's say, traditional Japanese candlesticks. That is because there is a sort of formula that exists within the Haken Eshi that gives them different colors. So they are color coded. They are usually used to identify trending periods, potential reversal points, and classic and classic technical analysis patterns. Technique is totally different than using traditional candlesticks and should not be confused with standard Japanese candlesticks or standard bar charts. Keiken Eshi modifies standard Japanese candlesticks by sending the open and close through a special calculation of the average. And that is actually a good thing if you are, let's say, a trend trader, because uh, the first benefit of uh, Keiken Eshi is actually showing you the direction of the trend through color coded candles. And now I see a comment from a Japanese trader, Yusuke Hashimoto, if I'm correct. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Heiken Eshi, I know. Uh, we usually say Heiken Eshi, but Heiken Eshi is also used. It is more correct, I see. But uh, Heiken Eshi is something that, I, let's say, I've been using for a long, long period of time. And thank you for your uh, comment. Uh, so, uh, I honestly, to be honest, I prefer Japanese, standard Japanese candlesticks. But Heiken Eshi, I also did a few good systems on Heiken Eshi candlesticks. I, one of them I will present to you uh, today. But uh, generally speaking, uh, in Heiken Eshi, I prefer to trade, let's say, a typical trend trades uh, with uh, additional indicators. Uh, Heiken Eshi is something that has a great potential to uh, be also used for, te for uh, technical analysis and also for different price pa pa patterns presentations. But generally speaking, my opinion is that Heiken Eshi works better in trading systems than in uh, st uh, standard technical analysis. So usually they are, let's say, by default on MT4, they're uh, uh, white and red. But you can change colors, and this is how I use it. The blue candle is showing when the trend is up, and the red candle will usually show, show up when the trend is down. The second benefit of Heiken Eshi is that also it, it also indicates the strength of a trend. Uh, in standard Japanese charting, usually when you see a big wick to the upside or to the downside, it means that either buyers or seller, sellers are actually taking control. Uh, but in uh, standard Haken Eshi candlesticks, when you see no wick, that means that you're in a strong trend. 
when you're in a trade, but you don't know where to exit, try to consider Heiken Ashi candle wicks. If uh, standard Heiken Ashi candles uh, start to show wicks, think about exit points. So it's different than Japanese candlesticks. I will show you this also on live chart. Just let's uh, see first the theory craft, then we will come to practice. Now, if the Heiken Ashi candlestick continues to show the trend that is moving in your favor, okay, then you will have usually more confidence to stay in your trade than by than by using standard Japanese candlesticks. Candles can sometimes stay one color for a longer period of time, and even if the price goes 100 pips, let's say on four hour time frame. And catching and holding to these long trends can be very profitable. But of course, because of human psychology, it's not always as easy. This is how standard Haken Ashi candlesticks look like. And this is, uh, of course, the representation of a price action totally coded through uh, standard uh, Haken Ashi candlesticks. We also have a different variation of uh, standard Haken Ashi. It's called Haken Ashi Smoothed. Okay. And it smooths the price on Haken Ashi candlesticks. It usually needs to be used with other indicators as uh, Haken Ashi Smoothed are, uh, they were totally tested in, if I'm correct, 2000, in the year of 2013. And they even showed better results than standard Haken Ashi candlesticks. But then again, uh, 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 in my opinion, uh, Haken Ashi smoothed are much better to be used in uh, trading systems than in uh, ordinary technical analysis. Uh, we usually use Haken Ashi smoothed for entries, for trends, and for filtering bad entries. Haken Ashi smoothed are lagging candlesticks. So they uh, also have the formula that takes the average of standard Haken Ashi through some calculations, and they are lagging behind. And But it means that you will stay in the trend for longer. Maybe you will have later entries, maybe one or two can later entry, but if there is a trend, it will keep you in a trend for a longer period. And this is how it looks on a line chart. So this is standard line chart. This is the price. And these are Haken Ashi smoothed candlesticks. Now, guys, this is the system that I will present you with. Now it's called Haken Ashi TDI system. And uh, this is one of I can say my favorite systems for uh, Haken Ashi trading. It's a uh, I have been receiving a lot of lot of comments uh, for these uh, for the system uh, in the past, and uh, a lot of traders actually told me that they managed to make nice pips with the system. So I hope that you will test it. Uh, of course, uh, it's totally free, guys. If you don't have the indicators, you can just send me the indicators uh, to my email, or uh, I will actually. Uh, no problem. I mean, you can always ask for indicators, uh, and I will definitely send you on tarantulafx at gmail.com. Uh, it's totally free, guys. Uh, it's uh, easy to use. And uh, of course, before you start trading live, try to practice on demo account first. You can trade any currency pair with this. Uh, the time frame of choice is 30 minutes or above. above. Uh, the indicators that we use are Haken Ashi smoothed with the, these settings, guys. 2632. Okay, so these are settings 2632. Uh, we also use the indicator called TDI red green. Okay, with these uh, settings. Long positions are taken when the green line crosses the red line on the TDI indicator. Haken Ashi bar has to be blue. Okay, but if it isn't blue, if it's more five more bars since the TDI crossover, do not enter the trade. So it needs to show blue after crossover to the uh, after maximum five bars. TDI should be below or very close to 32. 
target is a pivot point or whatever you choose for target or uh if uh, i will show you on a lower time frame if heiken eshi smoothed color changes then you can exit the trade stop loss is previous swing low uh, or pivot point or fixed 50 pip stop loss if you trade on 30 minute and one hour charts for short position red line has to cross the green line on the tdi indicator heiken eshi bars uh, or bar has to be red if it's five or more bars since the tdi crossover do not enter the trade wait for another setup tdi should be uh very close or preferably above 68. target is a pivot point or if you zoom in a lower time frame let's say if you trade one hour then zoom to 15 minute and chain and wait for the change of the color candle Kekanashi. if the color changes you exit the trade stop loss is a previous swing high pivot point or 50 pips fixed if you trade on 30 minute or one hour chart and this is guys how it looks i will just i will open the chart give me a few seconds okay i just need to see where i have the template and uh, i will show you okay so so first we will start with the haken ashi here this uh, this is standard haken ashi okay here this is standard haken ashi and now i will actually open the template just guys if you have any questions uh feel free to ask me okay and we go to file open this is how you install the template open data folder templates and then you right click paste then you go to refresh then right click template and tdi strategy okay guys so this is it so this is now the template and uh, you can see it's a little bit different these candlesticks are now cake and ashy smoothed these are cake and ashy smoothed these are standard japanese candlesticks if you go to indicators list this is it uh you can choose whatever pivot point uh, you prefer of course yes i i would stay on one hour chart yusuki uh i would i prefer to stay on one hour chart you can trade also 30 minutes but one hour is also perfectly fine and this is how you uh trade so generally speaking you need to uh, actually watch for these colors here now we know that predominant trend here on the new zealand dollar is bearish because the price is actually making the lower lows and lower highs but it doesn't mean that with this system you cannot trade to the long side so this is how you treat the trade if you see that the price is generally in downtrend then these blue uh, candlesticks will show retracements so uh, do not be very greedy when it comes to retracements you can take some pips but focus on main trend that is to the downside so i would preferably trade short trades here although we can trade retracements so let's see the move has started here okay now this was the first signal okay a red line a green line crossed at this point we have a cross of green below the red and it's very close to 68 so guys this is important 68 and 32 tdi should be close to either 68 for short trades or 32 okay for long trades preferably preferably above or below for short trades this is a good qualifier but you need to see a red kekaneshi maximum five bars after the price after the tdi a green cross thread so let's count one two three so we see we see that the third candlestick actually here is a signal so this is our trade here one two one two three so this uh, is a short trade and you see the price went downwards this was the start of a downtrend then we have a retracement to the long side this is the cross here okay close to 32 so it, it qualified for an entry and the first candle actually is a retracement it's okay 27 pips as a retracement you don't take these trades guys because uh, tdi is not close to 
what we said to 68 then okay this is okay but we don't have red so you need to have red guys always follow the rules we don't have red and it it went far above five candlesticks okay let's see more this is okay we have a cross here one two three four five so it didn't qualify okay we have a cross here one two three four five the fifth candle is red this is your entry guys bang it goes down long trade retracement has started here okay this was the cross here one two three four five only you see on the sixth candlestick it went up so we would probably skip this trade again down move one two three four five this isn't qualified trade okay we don't have a long here you see how good filter this is guys will keep you from bad trades here we don't have any trade okay let's see if we still have some cross here no nothing close to let's see for example some better moving pair euro yen okay general trend on euro yen it's obviously to the upside okay let's see if we have some trades here one to this is good long trade opportunity let's see only long trades okay this is not so close to 32 this is much better close to 32 one two three fourth candle bang the price went up here one two two one two three fourth candle price went up okay not bad not bad since it dropped but you see 21 pip then price dropped and again good entry here let's see okay this is a good entry one two three four fifth candle again to the upside so this is guys a primary logic best trades are always found when price crosses or touches 68 for short or for long 32 but if it's also very close to 32 like these we can also consider a trade here and you can actually see how the price behaves now regarding stops stop is always placed be below uh, the last obvious swing low for long trades or above last obvious uh, swing high for short trades if you go long for example here our stop loss would be placed on one hour chart five pips plus the spread below this low same here five pips plus the spread below this low i just place these lines randomly but it should they should be five pips plus the spread below okay for long trades guys let's find a long example for example here also this is let's say a long trade here okay this is the trade exactly here one two three four five okay stop loss five pips below plus the spread and exit guys now watch exits this is 8th of march 11. so if you want to exit not by pivot point but actually for a color change from one hour time frame go to 15 minute time frame okay and find when the color changes so for example if you were here okay you might consider exiting here you will, would be in a small profit but if you actually go to 30 minute time frame you will see that this the, the candle actually change here so try to juggle between 15 and 30 and see the price action for me guys it's still uh pivot points are better entries i i personally prefer to go with pivot points sometimes when trend is very 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 strong it will keep you uh, for uh, much much longer on a 15 minute time frame but if you're not afraid to leave your trade running i also advise you after some 20 pips to uh, let's say scale out close the half of your position in profit and put the rest to break even plus one and that means you will be securing a free ride it's also one of the te techniques of trade management that i i've been using if you have any other questions guys 
uh, feel free to ask me. Uh, if not, uh, well, uh, this webinar is being recorded. It will be uploaded to YouTube. So I hope that you will enjoy Haken Ashi TDI training. Uh, I don't see any questions, so I see that everything is clear. For pivot points, guys, use your favorite pivot points. I personally use Camarillas, but if you use other pivot points, you have maybe something that you like, feel free to use it. Or you can do it, as I said, uh, when price goes, let's say, approximately 20 pips in profit, scale out, put the rest to break even, and uh, leave the rest of position running to some extreme daily resistance or support, depending on direction. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, I think everything is clear. Uh, if you, uh, if something is not clear, feel free to comment uh, below the video. I wish you a great trading week and see you soon. Cheers, trade safe. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for live trading videos. Let's see, come and see how I trade live in action. See you soon.